today from chapter 2 that is human body the skeletal system we will be discussing about joints and types of muscles first let us discuss about what is joints and what are its types you can refer to page number 17 to 20 for today's topic so first let us understand what is joint joint it's a place where two bones meet okay the place where two bones meet is known as joints and these two bones are held together with the help of a tissue known as ligaments so ligaments helps in putting two bones together okay now there are two types of joints your joints can be divided into two types movable joints and immovable joints first let us consider immovable joints immovable joints are those joints which does not allow the movement of body parts so what have from this two types what we have to consider what where are this present and what kind of movement does it so okay these are the two key points that you have to consider while going through the topic joints that means where are these particular joints present and what kind of direction does it so movement does it so we will be considering those two things so joints are two types movable and immovable immovable joints are those joints which does not allow the movement of body parts now where are these immovable joints present now these immovable joints are present in the cranium we all know what is cranium right it's a portion of the skull which protects your brain so immovable joints are present in the cranium it is also present in the ribs okay next we will be considering movable joints what are movable joints movable joints are those joints which allows the movement of body parts now your movable joints can be further divided into four types those are ball and socket joints hinge joint and gliding joint and fiber joint so let us consider about each one of those where are they present and what kind of direction does it show first let us consider about ball and socket joint now this ball and socket joint what happens is in this kind of joint one of the bone is like uh, the end of that bone is like ball shaped okay and another bone has a cup shape so this ball goes and uh, joins in that particular cup shaped structure okay that's why the name ball and socket joint one of the end of the bone resembles like a ball and another has a cup shaped compartment where that ball goes and fits okay so where are this ball and socket joint present they are present in your shoulder and hip region and this particular joint allows movement in all direction that is 360 degree movement okay so it is present in this shoulder region because of which you are able to move your hands in 360 degree okay all round movement the next one is your hinge joint if you all have seen a door you can see a hinges there what is the function of those hinges in the door it allows the door to move only in one direction right similarly your hinge joint allows the movement only in one direction so where are these hinge joint present they are present in your knee elbow and fingers and toes because of which they are you are able to move those parts only in one direction next is your gliding joint gliding means sliding over okay two bones slide over each other so where are this uh, gliding joints present they are present in your wrist ankle and even in between the vertebrae because of the presence of this gliding joints only you are able to bend twist okay that movement is brought about by the gliding joint now another type of joint is your fiber joint where are this fiber joint present the fiber joint are present in between the skull and the first two vertebrae okay this fiber joints are present in between the head and 
first to vertebrae because of which you are able to move your head up downward upward sideways this side all this movement is possible because of the presence of your fibers joint next we will be discussing about muscles all animals shows the movement right they can move from one place to another so that movement is brought about by muscles along with the bone so bone is covered with a tissue called muscles the muscles can be divided into three types okay before going through the types your bones and muscles are attached with the help of a tissue known as tendons next different types of muscles there are three types of muscles skeletal muscles smooth muscles and cardiac muscles skeletal muscles because these muscles are attached to the bone and it brings about the voluntary action in our body voluntary action means those actions which are under our control for example if i want to raise my hand you can if you do not want to it's all according to your will so skeletal muscles controls all the voluntary actions where are these skeletal muscles present these skeletal muscles are present in arms hands legs and feet next smooth muscles these smooth muscles are present in the hollow organs such as esophagus blood vessels and stomach what do smooth muscles do it brings about the involuntary function in involuntary action involuntary action means those actions which are not under our control it is referred to as involuntary action for example can you uh, let your esophagus stop when you are not eating anything or chewing anything no that doesn't happen you cannot control can you uh, stop your eyelids from flickering no all those are your involuntary actions okay so involuntary action is carried out by smooth muscles third type of muscle is your cardiac muscles this kind of muscles are present only in your heart and it starts functioning from the time of your birth the for a whole lifetime till you die this cardiac muscles functions this four muscles are present only in your heart okay that is the special feature of a cardiac muscle that means it can work for a uh, from your birth to your lifetime okay your smooth muscles though it works whenever it is required okay but as compared to skeletal muscles it can work for a longer period of time your skeletal muscles after working for a while it gets tired so these are the different types of muscles so the muscle what does it help you in it helps in bringing about the movement in human body or any animals okay that's all about your joints and muscles for today